jobs. Please welcome former U.S. Trading Commissioner Bart Chilton. Thank you so much for coming in. We got a lot to get to today. My goodness. Yeah. Let's first get to the elephant in the room. Uh, the strikes last night on uh, Syria's uh, military uh, military targets in Syria. Defense sector stocks. What are we looking at this morning? Well, they make like other stocks got a big Trump jump since the election. They went up yes. as high as 19 percent as of March 1st. They took a tumble uh, since then, so they're up 14 percent on the year as of today. But if you look at some of the specific stocks, right. uh, they, they've done pretty well in the last, I don't know, trading day at least. Yeah, so uh, we're talking about Lockheed, Northrop, what do we see there as far as these guys ending? Uh, it looks like the biggest the gainer today has been Raytheon. And they make yeah. those Tomahawk missiles that they uh, really turned out to, to do pretty well in the, the event last night. 59 right. missiles hit their target with uh, precision. Uh, and it, those missiles are $1.5 million each. So uh, uh, Raytheon is up, uh, at least as of a little bit, two, two points today. They're up as high as three, but down uh, two. And if you look at Northrop Grumman and uh, uh, Lockheed, they're up between 1.4 and 1.5 on the day. So uh, a good day for the defense sector, as you might expect. Oh, yeah, that's something anyone can call uh, when we saw the drama and the, uh, the footage from those U.S. naval ships overnight. Uh